Is now to talk a little bit about a big problem one of our East Bay animal shelters is dealing with lots of big dogs, not enough room. After a great couple of years in terms of adoption and fostering programs, dog intake at the Oakland Animal Shelter has increased over the last several months, meaning many of them are having to double up in their kennels. Joining us now is Ann Dunn with the Oakland Animal Shelter. Uh, Ann, thanks for joining us to talk a little bit about this overpopulation problem you have. It's not great. Uh, talk to me first about how we got to this point. Yeah, well, one of the things is, you know, as you mentioned, we've seen a kind of gradual increase in our intake. And what we saw at the end of 2022 is we were right back almost exactly um, to where we were in 2019 pre-pandemic. But where we are in this moment is in December, we saw a huge spike in intake. And so where we have seen in all of 2021, the average 234 dogs coming into the shelter. In December, we had 289. So that's 55 more dogs in one month. Um, and at the 234, we're good. We're getting those dogs into foster. We're getting them adopted. Um, but with just this huge increase in just one month, we're really scrambling to get all of those dogs into great homes. I, I know your euthanasia rate last year was the lowest it's ever been. And even considering that option is heartbreaking at this point. So you do have a lofty goal. You want to get 50 dogs adopted or into foster homes in the next week, correct? That's right. You know, we're really looking at adoption, um, getting them into permanent homes, and we're asking people if you know they can't adopt, but they consider fostering, um, you know, um, in the future to, to definitely reach out to us. But um, the primary goal is adoption. And and of course, it's the big dogs that that you want to find homes for. Uh, right. They can be a little harder to handle for sometimes uh, than people realize, or maybe people aren't uh, necessarily always prepared. Can you give us some tips on handling bigger pets for those who might be considering adoption? Yeah, well, and I think one of the things to think about, the challenge with the big dogs from our perspective isn't so much that they're necessarily harder, because there are a lot of big dogs that are really mellow. It's right. just that it's very hard for people who are renting to find affordable housing that allows big dogs. Um, they're prohibited, um, you know, my mind unnecessarily in a lot of rental housing. So that's really the big challenge. But I would just say that the main thing is that we're really focusing on matchmaking. So kind of regardless of what the situation is, we want to help somebody find a, a dog that's going to do well with their lifestyle, with their housing, things like that. So we have a lot of people that are here um, able to help with that. A big adoption event being held this weekend. What is the best way for folks to come out and check out the big guys? So one of the things is we're, we're greatly expanding our adoption. Friday through Monday from 12 to 5. We're at 1101 29th Avenue in Oakland. Um, and we're just asking people to show up. Again, we have people on hand to help with matchmaking, um, a lot of support through the whole adoption process. Well, I, I sure do hope that there are at least 50 families or 50 people, uh, even more potentially, uh, out there who are uh, wanting and needing a, a new forever friend, uh, forever family member, um, and hopefully they'll give those big dogs a chance because, uh, like we said, you know, the uh, idea of having to put down any of the dogs is just, it's really heartbreaking to think about. Yeah, we do not want to do that. And thank you so much for joining me. Thank you.